Hello everyone. In this video, I will guide you through the steps to install R and R Studio on your computer. So, to get started, you will need to download and install both software. So, what you have to do now is to go to posit.co on your web browser. After you have opened your web browser, go ahead and type posit.co and search. In which case, on the web page, Click on Download R Studio, which is found at the top right corner of the web page. And then click again on Download R Studio. Then on this web page, scroll down the page a little bit and you will find the download buttons for both software. So in which case, we will go ahead and install R first. So we click on Download and Install R. A new tab opens, which leads you right to the Comprehensive R Archive Network, also known as PRA. There, you will find the links for downloading R for the various operating systems, uh, for Linux, for Mac, or Windows. So in which case, I will go ahead and click on Download R for Windows. And then you will go ahead and click on Install R for the first time and you will find the link to download the latest version for R for that particular operating system. So I will just go ahead and click on the link to initiate the download process for R. Now that the download is finished, go to your computer and locate the program file or setup. So in which case, I find it here and just double click to run the setup and then go ahead and click on yes and then i'm going to leave everything at default so i would like the english language so i'll just go ahead and click on ok and then next and then leave it at the default location so click on next then next and then next next and i'll just go ahead and click on next in which case i will allow it to create a desktop shortcut so click on next Now, after the installation, go ahead and click on finish. And that is that's it. So at this point, I will go to the desktop and then I find the R successfully installed onto my computer. You can double click on it to launch it. And this is how the interface for R looks like. At this point, I will just go ahead and close it because we will now have to go ahead and install the R Studio. So I go back to the web browser and then go to the tab I opened and go ahead and click on download R Studio desktop for Windows and the download process also is initiated and I'll just go ahead and click on start download to download the program. Now R Studio is downloaded so you should go ahead and locate the program file on your computer and then run the setup and initiate the installation process. So in which case, you go ahead and click on yes, then next, then leave everything at default location. So next, install, and you allow it to finish the installation process. Now that the installation process is finished, you just go ahead and click on finish. Then you can close every window, go ahead and locate the RStudio file and launch it so that you get to see the R Studio interface. And this is how R Studio looks like. So in the next video, I will guide you on the main differences between the main R software and the R Studio and justify the reason why we would have to use the R Studio for writing our codes in R.